So welcome back to base camp, WNC. We're starting a little bit things different. I want to go ahead and start making some videos and redoing some in great detail. I've got a lot of requests for that. And I'd like y'all, even if you're not going to build a seat collar for a spring water system, please do me a favor, watch the video and leave comments and tell me if I've gone into enough detail, not enough detail, and what my problems are. But of course, what we're doing, according to the thing, we're going to build this seat collar. Now you can buy these things online for about $140, but I'm going to show you how to take a $10 55 gallon food grade drum and about nine dollars worth of fittings and show you how to build this thing save yourself some money and learn how to do it in the process and, and acquire that skill here's the 55 gallon drum that we're going to use and the best way to mark it about the center right here is about 17 and a half inches and the best way to do this i found without trying to measure up. Just get a stick about the right size angle. Just go around the drum, make a line. Turn your drum around. We're gonna want about 12 inches here to make these bands. And I figured the easiest way is just take another board here. Go around the bottom end. Score a line all the way around. Forward with the marker and gone all the way around. We turned it upside down. And now we have two bands here in the middle. And we're gonna cut this thing out. Now to cut it out, you can use a skill saw. You can put this thing on a table saw and then you don't even need to measure it if you got a table saw with a fence but most people don't, so you can use a skill saw, saber saw, uh, saw saw. I guess you could take a razor blade knife and just keep going around and get it done, but let's go ahead and get to that. And let's get this thing cut, and I got some other ideas for you. Okay, I'm taking the table down right now, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this line right here, and we're gonna use my battery operated saw and uh, I may have to go back and edit the sound out because it's going to be kind of noisy I guess but uh And there you go let's see like I said I'm trying to figure out how to use a tripod and doing this by myself but of course now you got about a five inch deep with the plugs in that thing you could use it as a watering bowl for your dogs or ducks or part washer let me cut this middle one for you because I keep, like I said I, I need your critiquing on it I got a lot of people that I'll stop the camera, go do it, come back, and, well, how'd you do all this stuff? So, I'm trying to learn how to put everything on camera I possibly can. So, let me cut this thing and bring you back. You now have the ring that you really need for your well right here you can take and cut another one if you want if not I'm gonna tell you right now that right there drill a hole right here put a dog leash in it and it makes you can cut it down some whatever you want but that makes a great bucket for picking in the garden the round edge right here on the bottom will slide over everything and you can drag that thing right on down your garden pick squash dig potatoes 
put two holes in it, one on either side, put handles in it, and make a carrying bucket out of it. So let's go back to work on our ring. Okay, this is our ring, and all of them, and I don't think it'll pick up on the camera because of the sunlight, it's got this mark where a vertical is, but if yours don't have something like that, it's not a seam. Take a framing square, put on that draw line, and that right there is where you're gonna cut it to make one big ring. Let me go ahead and do that. There it is. And now, because of the size of the drum, you have a six foot band right here to make your spring collar out of. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the place right here for the holes, and we're gonna see about drilling this. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill our two holes right here in the drum. This one will, one will be for the water coming out, and one will be the overflow. I don't like to put them centered. I like to put them a little bit off centered. We'll get into that when we're installing this thing. What I'm gonna be using, this is an inch and a quarter, one and a quarter inch hole saw. You can use a one and a quarter inch paddle bit if you want. Okay, I went and got my tape measure. We're gonna bring one up about five inches and another one about nine inches. And then we're gonna drill these two holes. Well, there they are. Now what we're gonna do, I can get it out of my pocket here. We're gonna take a razor knife I gotta kind of hurry up because we're the sun's going down and we're gonna have a whole bunch of shade in the picture. And I'm gonna hear comments about that, hopefully. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these burr edges off, both of them, just like this. We'll do the inside later on. But the reason for doing this with an inch and a quarter hole, this of course is schedule 80 pipe right here, but it doesn't matter. This is one inch pipe thread. And if you use an inch and a quarter hole, believe it or not, this thing will screw right in. And you'll see when we install this thing, And this thing is used as a water dam. Well, we're screwing this inside. This will be the inside of the water dam. You can see it's threaded. In order to clean this thing up, of course, you're going to wash all the shavings off of it. Just take a razor knife and just go around the edge. Okay, after I've cleaned this thing up, just to make it look a little bit prettier, I've ended up going to the hardware store. And what you're going to need is two and these are one inch pipe thread to slip joint uh, PVC fitting. You have two female that are female pipe thread in here to slip joint fittings. Buy yourself two foot of one inch pipe. I made these eight inches long. That seemed to be a good one. Drill some holes in it. These are five sixteenths holes. There's 11 of them, doesn't really matter. When they go in, the holes will actually be down for the water to come up and two one inch caps. And as I said before, you just screw this one inch male fitting right through the wall. This would be your outcome <coughs> showing both of them the same thing. Let's just say from your spring dam coming down the hill, you're going to use black polyethylene pipe. This is a one inch, what they call hose barb. You can do the same thing. It'll screw right into that dam wall. And it will seal up. 
and even if it dribbles or leaks a little bit, no big thing. But then on the inside, of course, everything's got to hit the deck. Of course, on the inside, what you're going to have is the two male ends sticking in there. And this is where you just screw the female end in, right over top of it. And you don't have to put any wrenches on it or anything else. Just screw them on. And then this is where the pipe, this is going to be the inflow. So let's just say this is the bottom right here. This is your supply going to your house. And this would be the overflow pipe. Doesn't really matter. Stick them like that. These things can be as long as whatever your spring head's deep. Like I said, when we next video, we'll do one on the spring box, and then we're going to be installing them in detail. I'm going to have the camera there as much as I possibly can. But this, of course, will be the outside of it. And whether you're hooking black poly pipe up to it or you're coming out with PVC pipe, this is it. Now, the only other way to do it is to put a bulkhead fitting in, which is just a bigger hole threaded on both sides. They're $15 a piece. So this right here works, it works just fine. And total cost of the barrel. And like I said, you'll get a bucket or two rings. Most people won't need two rings if you're just doing your spring. So you got a whole big total of $19 in it instead of 140. Now, as I said, please critique me. My skin's tough. You're not gonna offend me. Let me know about the video, what you think of it. And if you have never built one before, could you actually build it with my directions or do I need to go into a different detail? But stay tuned. Like I said, we're going to build this spring collar. We're going to build a spring box, what they call spring box. And then I'm going to show you my, and if you've seen my channel before, I have one where we have filters on the inside of the spring box for sediment. And then we're going to be putting them in. That'll be a good job trying to get cameras and lights down there by the spring in the, in the darkness. And uh, hook it all up for you and show you. But please, leave me a comment. Leave me details. Yes, no. What I need to do better. I appreciate it. And in the very near future, we're up to 1,953, I think it is, subscribers. We're going to have to have some kind of giveaway for number 2,000. So contact your friends, everything else. The person who gets me my 2,000th person, we're going to come up with some kind of giveaway prize for you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.